Welcome to Invest, we talk about investing, finance, and professional development. As so the current time of 8.46 a.m. on Eastern Time, Ethereum contract $3,471, that about 1.45% so far. Respect to over crypto market, you see clearly on the overall crypto market, um, it's relatively flat um, across the spectrum. Uh, it's across the board relatively red beside Dogecoin, which is currently up about 3%. Due to the news that broke out earlier today around Twitter um, with respect to Elon Musk taking a 9% stake in the social media company, we subsequently translate into a 20% surge on the stock price on a pre-market perspective. So I'll dive into the technicals as a bonus in a bit to show you guys what that means. In terms of the technical support level, uh, and is it an ideal level to DCA, and what's the risk profile after this surge? So if that was any more time, let's just dive into it. Respect to recording time again, 8.47 a.m. on the Eastern Time. Right now, we are, again, in between levels, right? We are exactly gluing. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that. We just like It's like kind of a magnetic type of uh, dynamics that we see in front of us that we are have a propensity to stick around the 3472 level, which is a technical support level that we identify. And that's the reason why we naturally glide back down after the obviously lack of bullish momentum to keep us going to the 3644. Uh, and as you can see that we gave a one, two, three times. Um, and now we kind of just coming back down now, right? And again, this is like a reverse uh, bullish pennant. This is like a bearish pendant compared to the pendant that we saw from Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, uh, which we'll dive into in a bit to show you what I mean. It seems like this is like a reverse triangle, right? Like the apex is like around here versus the the fatter side on the right side of your, you know, if you look at my screen, right? So where are we seeing momentum wise? You can see that clearly MACD is already curving down. RSI is also curving down at 67 out of 70. So cooling back down ideally, right? Um, as you ideally form a death cross, coming back down to 3332 all the way to 3158, all the way to around 3000 again, will be very logical for us to cool back down all over again, right? With respect to Bitcoin, you can see uh, we're having some volatility. We're about to form a death cross on, on Bitcoin. So definitely be cautious. Um, I uh, This doesn't look good to me because of the fact that firstly, this is like a reverse um, fat triangle again. And secondly, you are having a um, you know, lack of momentum on both sides, MACD and the RSI. And you know based on the current setup at 60 out of 70, do you see a strong shot of actually still shooting up? And the leak shoot up is firstly 48,000, which we got canceled out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Um, and the next level we need to get to is above 50, which is a monumental level, but it's the real, what's the real level? 53, right? So be careful about this one. Respect to Ethereum Classic is down about 1.4%. Uh, we form a death cross. We are already leaping down, so it's uh, quite bearish on this one. So coming down below to 38, 34, all the way to 27 would be the good frames that I will be referring to as you're referring to the risk profile. Again, these are not predictions. These are just risk profile. Dogecoin up is surging because of the, again, right, the bullish pennant that we talked about yesterday, and I would say the days before. It's been, I've been talking about this for a week now, I believe. Yeah. And this, because this was, has been squeezing tighter and tighter and tighter at the same time, because of the fact that we have formed a W. So right now the 65 out of 70, so surging more. And also at the same time, with respect to the Twitter, um, you know, stock purchase of 9% from Elon Musk also drives some buying pressure. But you can see that it's already kind of cooling down. You know, it was up about like 4% at one point, but now it's like 25 now. Cardano's up, um, not, I don't know why specifically, I think it's some micro affectation that's driven by this. Um, but right now we are at the 70 out of 70. Uh, so uh, in terms of DCA, would I be buying now? Um, I would probably just not for me. Uh, I, if I have to choose, right, 84 to 74 from here. Solana's down about 5, 4%. Um, right now, it's still bullish, uh, 60 out of 70, but you can see that it's kind of giving up a little bit. At the same time, it's kind of curving down. So, uh, you know, Solana surged up quite you know, prominently with this like mega green candle that I've been seeing so far. So would I be buying now? I would be, you know, advised not so, right? Anywhere from basically, 
uh, 80 all the way to below would be where I would personally buy at, right? XRP down about 1.14. And uh, respect to current level, uh, again, I personally, you know, it's okay. I like anywhere from basically 70 to 57, but that's my risk tolerance based on the current setup. Put it out down about 3%. It's uh, highly bearish at the moment. You can see it's cr crossing downwards. Uh, it's like a negative W, firstly. At the same time, it's crossing down. So we're about to form a death cross across the board. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's already forming a death cross. So once it crosses, it's going to sell down. So that's just a matter of uh, technicals coming true, right? And then uh, with respect to... Where is I up to? Shiba Inu again. This is... Uh, it's gonna search more because of the bullish pattern, but um, how f how high can we go? That's uh, questionable, right? Because uh, of the fact that we're relatively overbought at sixty out of seventy right now, right? Did we talk about Algorand already? Uh, Algorand again, like in case I double talked about this, um, uh, seventy five to sixty seven from here. MacTac um, one forty three to one twenty is where we'll be buying at. Avax down about three percent. Um. Again, right? This is not the most ideal setup. It's bearish on both sides, curving down, curving down on our side as well. So if we leap down, ideally, right? I would not touch this until like we go back to sixty-five to below from here, right? Luna is uh, coming to one ten. We are at the flat number right now, right? We re reverse W. We form a golden cross array, so that's why we search up. But right now, it's uh, about to leap down now. So I think we are giving up slowly on the momentum front. So uh, again, 62, 52 to 45 from here. And I looked at uh, Twitter, right? So let's look at Twitter. So right now, it's up about 22% on a pre-market perspective, right? So why are we going around 47 as the market opens? is because 47 is where you would ideally hit a blockade from here. Right, you can see that from the past, and I could draw a line for us to identify why that is. Um, you can see right here, right? You can see that we had that blockade, but you know, by then you're going to be extremely overbought already. We are at the 60 out of 70, and remember, this is a delay, so we could technically search up as the market opens. Um, but the next leap up you need to get to will be somewhere around 54. So, do we have a shot of actually going to around 50? It's possible because of the um, the positivity that we're seeing around the news. But after that, you're going to have a mega leap up from 52 all the way to somewhere around like 58. And you hit some resistance. But and then you will go to 64 because there's a gap here. And I think we haven't had a chance to fill the gap yet. So yeah, Twitter might be bullish. So we have to see, right? But remember, this is um, a media affectation driven. Has Twitter you know, business model shifted dramatically because of, you know, Elon Musk's influence? Maybe. So we have to kind of verify that a little bit. Um, so would I be buying now? <laughs> if I was like a momentum trader, maybe. Um, because um, it's not like terribly overbought at the moment. But still, um, you know, I would be, I would have much stronger conviction if, you know, the MAC deal was on the other side of the line. It's about to curve up. Then I would be buying. But like right now, I don't know if I want to do that. It's a little bit risky. It's like kind of you bought it before the news, ha like after the news news happened. So it's like you're not like buying the rumor or sell the news type of affectation. You're like chasing in then, you know, you know what I mean, right? So I'll watch out for this later um, and let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys have a great Monday as well. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye.